Today I want to talk about the PowerShell pipeline and how it works. If you're just wanting to see an example of connecting a bunch of command lines together via the pipeline, go ahead and check out episode 7. But in this episode, I want to dive a little bit deeper and talk about what's going on behind the scenes and specifically the parameter binding. So if I type in get service bits and pipe that to start service, well this would start the service bits. But I want to focus on what's actually going on here. When I run the get service command, it's actually producing objects, or in this case, one object. And that object will then go across the pipeline. Now the first command here will then go ahead and connect in, or basically hook up to that object. And it does so by mapping to a parameter. And it can do so in one of two ways. The first is that it tries to do is by value type. So one of the parameters in start service will try to bind to the object type um, that get service produces. And the second one is by property name. And I'll actually talk about that in the upcoming episode. So I have a couple of PowerShell consoles up at, open up here side by side. And I want to show you how that parameter binding works. So we'll go ahead and type in get service and pipe that to get member. And this will basically show me details about the object that get service produces. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up here and there's a bunch of stuff about properties and methods on the object but what I'm focusing on is the object type or type name and that is this right here. Now specifically all I need to know is the last part here and that is that the object type is service controller. Now I'm going to go on this other window here and pull up the help documentation, the full help documentation on start service to look at the um, parameter definitions. So it's the parameters part here, and I'll go ahead and scroll down. Now what I'm actually looking for is on one of these parameters, it says, we'll say accept pipeline input, and I'm looking for true, and I'm looking for true by value type. So I'm going to go down here one more, and you'll see input object here accepts pipeline input, it's true, and it accepts it by value type. So what that means is this will accept pipeline input that matches the value type that the argument supports. So this argument will take the input of an object with the value type of service controller and I look over here I notice that the get service produces an object of service controller. So that's actually how it's binding. So if I go back up to the example here is the get service is producing an object of service controlling controller and that's mapping to the parameter of input object and it matches by the value type because it's the same object. It takes the input object takes an input of service controller and that's the object that gets service produced. Now I want to show you one more thing here and the second parameter right below it also accepts pipeline input by value and it accepts a value of string. So what I also could do if I wanted to I can type in bits. Now this is a string and this will emit an object with object type of string and that will actually map to the name parameter and I'll go ahead and use verbose so you can actually see this work. And sure enough, it actually started the service bits. So hopefully that explains things a little bit more and you kind of understand how the parameter binding process works. Now in an upcoming episode, I'll talk about the, the binding by property name and you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. Thank you for watching.